I'm going to show you a tip. I'm going to run this under water. Warm water. To get rid of line memory. To get rid of line memory. Okay, now that we've got our lines spooled, what I like to do is put on these uh, the owner hyper snaps. It doesn't have to be uh, owner, but the little snaps for ice fishing are good. I just like uh, the owner ones the best. <clears throat> and what these snaps do, they, they allow free movement on your lures to swing back and forth and uh, very easy to quick change. And this is our, our northern pike setup, so we are going to put a heavier one on with 30 pound test braid. Tie a quick knot. We're still waiting on ice, aren't we? Since our last video has actually gotten warmer, it's been uh, 40, 50 degrees, and it's not good for making ice. You can tell we're both ready to go. Okay, we've got the tide. Luckily we have time to do this. Yeah, we have time to make other videos. We'd rather go fishing. Yeah. Thank so you. here's a big northern spoon we're going to probably put on. And these things are super slick. Ready, awesome. ready to go. We're not going to leave it hooked up, but you can kind of see the, the line attachment. They free allows it to free swing. And we can tie on other lures as well, or just snap them on and off real quick. And it, it leaves all the freedom of movement. So, we thought we'd do a quick tip if she wanted to be on camera with me and, and provide some instruction. So, maybe next time we'll go ice fishing for sure if we get cold weather. Yeah! Okay. <laughs>